back. In this video, I make a small mod to this exhaust and just straighten out that muffler, and then I'll get onto the second mod, which is lifting the car. So I make a simple cut, weld this muffler on, just so it's, it's got a, a straighter profile from the rear. Uh, before it was just hanging down a bit too low, so there's what it looks like, and um, I'll give it a quick test ride. That's come up pretty good so next thing I want to do is raise the car up so you can see here at stock it's about 160 mil off the ground and what I'm going to do is make some spaces up now you can buy kits but they're quite expensive so I thought I'd just make my own given that I've got a lathe so I first jack the car up to where I want it to be which is just over 50 mils higher and you can see here it's now sitting from 160 up to 210 um, once I get it to this point, I take the wheel off and then I, uh, I pitch some acetyl plastic, which is really hard plastic and nice to machine. And then I make up various spaces. So I need two spaces uh, to go under the rear springs and then I need some aluminium spaces to go under the rear stabiliser. And then for the front, I need some spaces to drop down the cross member, an extension for the steering and then two spaces for the top of the struts. Um, so these are the spaces for the rear and the front, they're all the same, so I make six of these. And, uh, you know, they all turn out pretty well. I just made these out of aluminium, 39 mil aluminium, part them off. And you can see here, there's the finished uh, plastic spacer I made for the top of the spring. It's got a, an angle on the bottom just to uh, match the angle once it's in the car and you need a spring compressor on these to get them to fit properly because it's quite a tight fit uh, particularly with that spacer so I just push it down it does just fit in there and this essentially uh, raises the car up that 50 mil so once they're in you put the aluminium spacers under the rear stabiliser just to make sure the, the overall geometry of the suspension stays pretty much the same so on the rear it's quite simple those two aluminium spacers and then two under the springs and as i say you can buy a kit but uh, in the end i prefer just to do this myself with the rear done this is the front so this is a uh, extension i'm making for the top of the strut now to do this right i decided to just screw cut this myself uh, rather than weld a thread on there um it turned out really good actually so Took my time, got the nut to fit properly. I used the standard nut, uh, but yeah, as I say, screw cut my own thread. And this is the front setup, so you can see the four spaces for the cross member, uh, that extension bolt, and then the two extensions for the top of the struts are just there. And the last thing I needed to do with the front was make a extension for the steering box, uh, which I'll show you in a moment. So there's a the suspension. Once I put that. Uh, extension bolt on just put the plastic um, sleeve which raises at 50 mil put that in and then after that this is the steering uh, extension so I just made this myself just fold the profile that I needed got it in the right spot and um, TIG welded it up now you can see the it's a bit hard to see but you can see here this is with the cross member dropped a bit further than what it needs to go 
but you can see uh, just a bit earlier there where the extension for the steering goes and this is where the four so there's two on each side spaces go with longer bolts with all that pretty much set I just weld up the steering bolt and fit it all together and you know at this point I've done the front and the rear and it's all starting to come together quite nicely now when I got this far I thought the disc looked quite rusty and old uh, it's been out in the weather a bit so I decided to take this off and give them a quick skim in the lathe and it didn't take much uh, but I, I don't think they'd been machined for a very long time and uh, for what I want to use this for this is going to be fine so light cut on both sides cleans it up and uh, that's as good as new so I just put it back on and in the next video I will get the wheels back together and go for the first test ride to see how it goes uh, with it raised about 50mm. Stay tuned.